Over the past two years, photographer Ken West has been selected to visually document five of Iowa's nine scenic byways. His imagery of the Lust Hill scenic byway is stunning and unique. Ken's images display details that are very difficult to see with the naked eye and impossible to capture with traditional photography. This high-tech approach to natural environments is just one way to entice people to get out and enjoy the view. The photographs that Ken West takes have a surreal look. There is something about them that is not quite natural, something different that people have trouble identifying. And I think one of the reasons for that is because I use this technique called high dynamic range photography, where I'll take several photographs of the scene, different exposures, allows me to capture a much wider range of brightness. People are not used to seeing that in a photograph. Where they're used to seeing it is in a painting. And so I think that's one of the reasons when people look at the prints, they think, wow, it looks like a painting. HDR, or high dynamic range photography, actually reduces the contrast between the darkest and lightest areas of a photograph. The process involves taking several photographs of the same subject at different exposures. A computer is then used to merge those separate photographs into a single HDR image. This is a photograph that I took in the Les Hills National Scenic Byway, which is located in the western part of Iowa. And to take this scene, I used um, this is what it would normally look like here. You can see a normal photograph. I would have lost all the detail in the sun and in the sky, and also quite a lot of detail in the sh deep shadow areas. But by using a combination of three different photographs, one where I photograph using more exposure to capture shadow detail, and then two photographs where I uh, use less exposure so I can capture all of the detail around the sun and in the sky, and then I merge those all together, and then the result is this photograph called a high dynamic range photograph. It has a painterly quality because, frankly, only a painter could have captured that traditionally. Ken West has taught photography at the Maharashtra University of Management in Fairfield for five years, but he has been involved in photography nearly all his life. His great-grandfather had a photography studio in Missouri, but it was Ken's grandfather, who was a portrait photographer and painter, that taught Ken the basics. Some of my earliest childhood memories are sitting in the dark room with my grandfather, watching him develop 4x5, 5x7 sheet film in a tray, and then also watching him make prints when I was very small. So my interests um, developed very naturally and just progressed from there. Ken says his interest in landscape and nature photography began less than 10 years ago. He credits the Jefferson County Trail System for focusing his interest on the environment. For Ken, photography is a means of experiencing the world. A lot of times I may go out to take photographs and I may not see anything that I want to photograph, but there can still be that silence that you experience walking on a trail. And maybe just I didn't see anything that particular time. So I don't come away with any photographs, but then I enjoyed the experience of being out on the trail and feeling the breeze, feeling the wind, hearing the sounds that you hear, the smells, everything. On the technical side, it might take Ken as long as 20 seconds to take the three to six exposures he needs to create a high dynamic range photograph. In order to keep the camera as still as possible, he always uses a tripod uses a shutter release, and locks the mirror up in the camera to minimize vibration. So that his depth of field will remain the same from photograph to photograph, he brackets his exposure using shutter speed rather than changing the lens aperture. Many years ago, you were always told to have the sun over your shoulder. And I quickly learned, with, particularly with HDR, to throw that idea out. I like having the sun a lot of times as part of the composition itself. As a matter of fact, sometimes when I'm photographing the scene, I can't really look at the scene. I have to kind of squint and look at it sideways to frame it in my camera because it's too bright the sun to actually look right at it. The photographs Ken West has taken have been featured in a number of galleries across the state. 
He has also shown his work and conducted a workshop on HDR photography at the National Center for Nature Photography in Ohio. It is the only gallery in the nation devoted exclusively to landscape and nature photography. The goal of the center is to inspire a reverence for natural environments and to promote the preservation of the natural world. It is a goal that is shared by Ken. We have a role as stewards to nourish and protect the natural world around us. So I think that's a, a very important thing that people take away from my photographs. And I'd also like to remind people in Iowa, when they look at the photographs, what a wonderful place Iowa is. And I encourage people to go out on the byways, take a, a Saturday or a Sunday or a weekend and do a byway trip, pick out one. And I think you'll, you'll find that you'll experience some really wonderful natural scenes, natural landscapes that are just exquisite. And you just have to take the time to go out and experience it.